Helen, it's outrageous. It's outrageous. I have to take you to task. You're showing a bit of knee. Oh, my knee is out. For goodness God, Twitter's going to explode. <laughs> Isn't it nuts? It's just nuts. It's just a different world now. And I mean, I've got to be honest, I was a bit oblivious to it. And the first I heard of it was my brother said, Helen, Dad's going to be on this morning talking about your outfits. <laughs> what? <laughs> your dad was talking about The dairy farmer <laughs> talking about dresses, God bless him. <laughs> oh, that's crazy. So you weren't really aware of what no. was going on. And the thing is, I guess, because of your day job, Country File, of course, which we know that you do, um, it'd be quite nice to put on a, a little... A dress? I mean, what, what, I, I, didn't, I just didn't get it. I, I didn't get am it if you're already. a mummy and my life is about my son. So I crawl around the playground <laughs> in shorts and a vest and flip-flops and it's heartbreaking leaving him for 20 days, but big gig Olympics came along. Of course. I thought, do you know what? I'm going to go, I'm going to put my best foot forward, I'm going to make the most of the opportunity to wear nice dresses and of wear course. heels. And you look beautiful. It became a bit of a laugh in the office because they kept saying, why are you wearing those heels? And I said, because I live in flip-flops. I can walk around in heels. I'm going to enjoy myself and wear outfits that I felt good in that made me feel good. Yeah. And that's kind of what it was about. But mm. I mean, yeah, it was just a storm in a teacup, really, wasn't it? It I mean, was, it was. But you know what, in this world, and, it's, and I've had a bit of it this week as well, you say something or something happens, one person quivering with indignation tweet something and then it becomes a story. That's what I don't understand. You know, it's, it's quite baffling. It's quite baffling. They kept saying to me about being too saucy. I swear to God, Lorraine, if I was intentionally flashing some of my body to the nation, it would not be my thighs. <laughs> were like uncooked Cumberland sausages left on the side. Not at all. You look absolutely stunning. You look gorgeous. And of course, the fact was, as you said, you had to leave your wee boy behind. Yeah. I mean, but as you said, Twitter, when I started in a newsroom, if you use the internet for a story, my news editor used to oh. pull crackers, whereas now oh, yes. Twitter kind of dictates I know. the agenda. It's mad. It's like the tail wagging the dog. It's all very strange. But what a brilliant experience. And didn't we do well in Rio? Oh. Olympics and Paralympics. It was fantastic. Team GB were brilliant. For me, I just it was a shame that there wasn't more talk about what was going on in the pool because it's so easy in this country to talk about, oh, this person hasn't done this, this hasn't person hasn't done this. Team GB have an exemplary stable of young people who get up early every morning, yep. who sacrifice sacrifice a social life, yep. who work, work, work. And it's not like, you know, high-level football or whatever where they're getting millions of pounds. No. They're, they're scrapping for sponsorship and they're scrapping for money. So, for me, you know, Siobhan Marie O'Connor, Jazz Carlin, Fran Hausler, Amy Wilmot, Hannah Miley, all of those people are young women who are flying the flag for us and they were the yeah. people I was hoping we were going to talk about. And fantastic role models. Oh, fantastic brilliant. role models. As you said, you know, the, the, the financial rewards aren't great and they are having to get up at ridiculous hours to get into the pool before the public come in. I mean, they wouldn't, they, for what they achieved, for what they have, it's remarkable, isn't it? And obviously it's very difficult now, because pre- London, there was a lot more funding around. Post London, there was a lot more, if you're going to meddle, then you have more support. So right. there's that pressure as well and there's that expectation. It wasn't yeah. about making a final, it was about what are you going to do. And for, you know, for some people, like Hannah Miley from your side of the border. Indeed. I mean, her, for me, her life is a brilliant movie script. She trains Maybe, in a local pool, yeah. she trains with her dad. <laughs> she just missed out on a medal, but she, for me, she's a winner on every level. Well, exactly. I just think just being there and yeah. being part of it is just it's phenomenal. It really is. And they and delivered the atmosphere. They certainly did. They certainly did. You mentioned that you live in France, but you work here. Yes. So you just kind of, I mean, do you, are you living out of a suitcase all yes. the time? Yes, yes. <laughs> and kind of like, oh, I've left those shoes there. Oh, no, I needed that. Yeah. The amount of times I get places and I think, oh, I would have really liked to have worn that. Uh -huh. I would have really liked to have... I have about 17 toothbrushes so mm -hmm. buy them at service stations as I go around <laughs> the country. So what's next? More country file? Yes. Yep. Back at country file next week. Um, I've done a big cycle ride to mark the anniversary of the Somme. So Brilliant. cycling with a lot of soldiers who have suffered with post-traumatic stress disorder. So that's on Remembrance Sunday, which is uh, which is good and looking forward to. Mm. And then, uh, yeah, I've been actually working with a friend of mine who's launched a website to... It's a bit like, she'll hate me using this description, but it's a bit like Tinder for mums. So you okay. can kind of, <laughs> if you're looking for a mum in the same area who needs a play date, you know, it's like when you find oh, yourself off a really with a baby. Good idea. Yes. Like for me, I don't have any friends with babies. Of course. So it's just a kind of way to kind of bring mums together. That's so a great idea. I'm working on that with her at Mums And Social. making new friends, because sometimes you do feel a bit isolated when you've just had a baby. Well, it's different, isn't it? Yeah. Because you go from being at work and then your mates are on a different sure. schedule. So. Ooh. That's uh, a big good luck with that. Thank that you. That's fantastic. Great to see you. Thanks really for good me. to see you. And it's you're a joy. Come back anytime, Helen. Oh, Thank you so much. Even Thank though you. I blend in with the cushion, look. It's lovely. <laughs> well, you see, she's a fashionista now. Camouflage. <laughs> if you'd like to see even more great guests, then click here.
There are plenty more fantastic interviews to come, so make sure that you subscribe. <laughs>